What's up guys, MHHouser321, also known as Matt, and we are playing Blaster Master for the NES. And we are on our way to the next dungeon and the next boss. Uh, as you can tell, I'm doing my little glitch thing to get the guys to go away in between the bosses there. Um, kind of a close call there. Ooh, I dodged a bunch of guys. That's how I always like to run that corner. It's like as fast down as you can, as fast up as you can, as close as you can to the walls, and it seems to dodge ever as much as the most amount of people. So, we got the, um... What is, it? What is this power-up called? I'm not sure. I know it makes your, your tank go faster underwater. Uh, so that's the power <laughs> And then there's two left after this. I think there's Mall 1 and Mall 2. I said, if you go in and out of the rooms, it'll despawn the enemies little trick to make the beginnings a little bit easier so you don't lose as much health. And once you get in the tank you'll see it looks like um I would describe it as like a little wheel. Like a little little turbine engine on your tank spinning, giving you a little bit of extra speed. Maybe done with tiny mode. That's probably the longest section you have to use tiny mode for the whole game is right there. Now our tank should be able to fly through the water. And, uh, there it goes. Actually, it kind of looks like it's got a plug, if I'm honest. Like a little plug for your, your devices on the end of it. Like for your cell phone or your uh, fan or something. And I don't have a whole lot of strategies for this next section. I usually stay to one side and I get through as fast as I can. I don't try to kill everything on the screen. Uh, I guess you could go in and out of each of these doors and despawn things. I, I, do, I start doing that later on. Uh, I think in some areas because I forgot. Like right here is an area where there's too many of those guys. You just go in and out, kill them all, and move off. <laughs> the tank, these guys don't really do a full health of damage. I think they only do a half tick. But I think the next boss uses the grenade glitch. So it's another grenade glitch boss. I wish you could grenade glitch the last boss. That would be cool. I'm not sure if anybody's ever tried that. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. The boss, though, uh, the final boss, is you think he's pictured on the cover of the game. It looks like, uh, kind of like a wolf to some degree. But he's actually, that's not the real boss. You fight an, a second boss after that. And then he's like some, I don't know what his name is. I wish I could look it up. He's like a, uh, he's like a, Oh my eyeball. <laughs> He's like the galactic leader. Um, what's his name? Fuck. Oh well. It's kind of weird. It's, it's, you've got this like wolf guy, and then you've got another secondary boss. You have to fight to beat the whole game. Alright, just make your way to the right here. Be careful this guy right here on the side. Platform. Uh, you go down here. Mistake on my part. I'm thinking about it now. Maybe there's no way to get out there. I don't know. Well, now we're into area 6, which is the ice area, which every game had in the NES era. There's an ice, there's always an ice area, there's always a water area. These are the two mechanics you can really play up on the NES is sliding. Music is strangely reminiscent of Battletoads for me for some reason. It sounds like, kind of sounds like Battletoads too. But 
Uh, the sliding mechanic isn't that bad. If I'm honest, like, this section isn't that bad altogether. I think there was maybe one playthrough of the whole game where I fell and had to go back. Because uh, there's a couple of ledges that if you fall, it looks like you're gonna die. It's a pretty long fall. But you don't actually die, you just, um. Uh. Just a bad trick, either way. I don't think there's any one hit kills in this game now that I think about it. That's why it's such a fun game. The lack of the one hit kills. Even like you'd think running into these spikes would kill you, but it doesn't. It just ticks some of your health. So you make your way up this room and you go to the right. Oh, I never really use hover a whole lot. Other than... I <laughs> just said that. <laughs> I didn't mean to use it there. I think it was an accident. So, right here, uh, when you come to the middle portion of this room, uh, you'll find... Right here to the right, you see, boom, two homing missiles. Those can be really useful, So, but they disappear if you don't get them fast enough. So you have to make sure you go and get them uh, really quick. And I think that puts me at like almost full homing missiles. They come way handy. So I'm already back to full health. That's why this game is so great. It's because no matter how low your health is, you can refill it so just by killing enemies. So this is a section where if you fall, you have to retrace your steps and go through a couple rooms. Uh, I usually just take it really slow here. There's only one section that's really hard. Uh, I think it's on the next one where it's kind of like just like right there, that middle section of it. Um, you, these little worm guys come after you and they'll just won't leave you alone. And see, the trick to killing, the, one of the tricks of killing the worm guys is knowing that they'll follow you. If you have a guy underneath you, he'll follow you so that so you can't even so you have to kill him with homing missiles. But if you go to the right of the screen, they'll follow you to the right and they'll just fall off the edge. If you go to the left, they'll follow you to the left and they'll just fall off the edge. That's something I found out later on. I like more of these BM in the game, those guys are fucking easy. Yeah, man. Just easy as pie. Okay. There are some hidden power-ups in this room, so I'm gonna show you what the ones I found. There's homing missiles. Uh, but you have to have hover to get them. So it's the same sound effect. <laughs> Your skin really uh that's where the homing missile is. So you have to have cover to get over there. And I'm not going to hell. I'm not going to farm just to get those. I might be able to just jump on the spikes and, and take some damage to get them too. But that's not worth it. I think I already have a full, almost a full thing of them. This is like another, there's a third sort of like hidden mechanic in this game. It's like discovery. Destroying things and finding stuff. It's kind of, it's kind of, I don't know how to describe it. I want to call it disco discovery for sure. It makes the game kind of fun. There's a huge section in this game that's the final section that's just filled with these blocks. And they do that uh, right before the final boss. It's really neat. I haven't seen it in any other NES games. Like that. Fill a giant room with them and have random spawns so you can get different items, which is pretty cool. do that. Hmm. They kind of do it now, I guess, to some degree. Yeah, this is a dumb, this is what I do, this is dumb. I shouldn't have tried to jump on that, it's a really hard jump. So we're going through here, and then, I think from then forward, this is, this is really easy. It's just kind of like, this room is it's just cake. It's just like, run to the right, run to the right, jump a little. Watch out for the one guys that don't even do that much damage. Fish guys would be dead. This is a great room for farming hell. Just so, uh, you know. Yeah, this section is a great section for farming. Uh, so, or did you get. I'm not farming, actually. This is a great section to get health. I don't know what I'm going to say. 
Sometimes uh, homing missiles will glitch out like that too, and you'll see them shoot across the map. Uh, these bees don't put up much of a fight, and they almost always give you hell. So this is the final section before the dungeon, and the dungeon itself is a uh, moderately hard, I guess. If you don't know the path, it could be difficult. I usually get full gun power up in this one each time, so I don't, I don't find it that hard. Make your way up here, just like I did there. And then, uh, I was parked my guy face. I was parked my truck there. <laughs> Tank facing out. Just, can just get it and go. So I was checking my weapons and stuff here. So what you want to do is bomb this first guy. Okay. I don't think he um, actually dies, but... Your whole goal here is avoidance. Just run as fast as you can. The faster you go, the less likely you are to um, to bite it. That's what I'm saying. Because there is a full power up, um, full power up, health power up about halfway through. There's a lot of health power ups about halfway through. There's a room that you can use to just get full health and everything. And I paused it for a long time here. I must have went to the bathroom or something. Didn't realize that. What was I pause it for? <laughs> well, guys, I'm in a mission. Will I go to the bathroom and take some, take a poo? Meanwhile, I'm just gonna read you some more of the story of Meta Fight. The game takes place on the planet Sophia the Third, located near the center of the Epsilon Milky Way. Which advanced civilization flourished in 2052. Emperor Goaz, that's the final boss's uh, name, conquered the rest of outer space, declared himself as a god, and his Inbem Dark Star Cluster invade the con and conquer Sylvia the Third. Only survivor of Goaz is a science academy Nora's satellite. Science Academy Nora's satellite has escaped and plans to build a weapon to defeat Goaz's forces. They build an all-purpose tank called Metal Attacker. This is driven by a boy named Kane Garner and they Take the lead in a counterattack. The game's opening sequence shows Metal Attacker dropped in the battlefield. That's the Japanese version, and I'm honestly, it's way better than our shitty version that we got. The plot uh, for the Western version is just. Here, I'll read it to you. The game starts with a person named Jason whose pet frog dropped. Uh, uh, pet frog named Fred drops. Whatever, skip it. We know what it is. Back to the game. So bomb that guy right away, yeah, as fast as you can, don't kill anything, stay to the top here, because you slide when you hit this glass, stay to the top, come down here, go down here, go to the rock, stay to the top, only take him one hit, run this long platform all the way down into the next room, go down to the right, run over, stay to the top, stay, stay to the top, because you'll slide into the spikes, there's usually a health right there, and I didn't get it, now this is the room where you can farm, uh, not necessarily farm, but you can get full health and full gun in this room if you kill everything. And, uh, it's not very hard, all you have to do is just sort of systematically make your way from left to right to left, shooting all the blocks. Once you get a full gun you can clear this room really fast, and I think I'll show you before I, before I uh, leave this room. The full gun is really good. I don't know if it was adapted from Vester's uh, Quest, but it was really good. It's a really good gun. Because that's the reason why you get a full gun. Because a blinking gun power up is four. And I think there's like two of them in this. And it makes this next couple sections so we, I mean, they're not even that hard. You can just run through them. Not that you need it. Maybe there's two broken guns or something in here. Yeah, there is. That's how you get it. Watch this shit. Boom! Boom, baby! Look at that. There's this giant gun in front of you just destroying everything. And I've always been curious how to get to over here. I don't necessarily know how. But in this corner, there is... Bombs and two guns. Not that you need, or hover and two guns. Not that I even need the guns now. But look at that shit. Crazy cool. Once you make it to that room, you're pretty much set. 
If you go down the middle platform here and you can just kill everything before he kill it gets near you. You just go slow. Oh, that guy hit me when I got more gun there. I thought you could destroy the bullets, that's why I wasn't afraid. Some enemies bullets you can kill and some you can't. So. I was like, maybe I should wait and go around. I'll just kill him. See, look, I destroyed his bullet there. So, I uh, can't destroy that guy's bullet apparently. Maybe it just didn't hit it because this going in is sort of like a uh, egg like pattern. We're only a couple rooms away from the boss. Get a really good idea of what it looks like when you shoot against the ice here. Get this little platform up here and you're in the boss room. You use the grenade glitch on him again and you're again, you're aiming for his mouth, the pincers. That's the spot you're aiming for. Right there. Got it. I think got out my second try there. You gotta be careful though because you can still take damage after that you kill him. I might even get hit here. Damage on the way out there. <laughs> That's gonna be it. This section, take care, fellas. We'll see you in the next one.